Wait, we've only got three minutes to get there? I just destroyed my kneecap. All right, well, we are in the Uber. Um, I wish I could talk about how I only have three hours of sleep and I'm stressed out about if I have the right stuff, but I've been told that I have to always stay positive in these things, otherwise people don't want to watch them. And so I'm pumped. Are you pumped, Broden? Sure. <laughs> okay. Broden hasn't gotten any sleep. Time to go, Broden. Our gate is uh, 154. Broder and I didn't stand in a single line to get through here. We went straight up to the desk, got our tickets, then went to TSA PreCheck, didn't have a single. Actually, TSA PreCheck is awful, don't get it. I couldn't, no one should have it. It should just be me and Broden. Um, we're gonna go get some food because we now have an hour before our flight takes off. We uh, got Mexican food because it's the last time I'm gonna have Mexican food for three weeks. Steve. Broden didn't get any footage of that because he was too busy gawking. Tell them the truth. What? I was in the bathroom and then I came back and Steve was there and Broden and Steve had a whole conversation. There's probably no footage of that. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I told them the truth. All right, we're about to board a 13 and a half hour flight. There's probably not going to be much footage because Broden and I are probably just going to drink and sleep and chill. And there's, it'll be dark and it's just, we'll see you in Korea. Yeah. We just disembarked the plane. Uh, we boarded boarded at 12. The plane took off at 12:30 uh, p.m. in LA. It is 2 a.m. in LA, but it is only 6 p.m. here. Um, we are pretty tired, although I slept on the plane, so did Broden, but we now have to go through customs, uh, get our baggage, take a train to Seoul, then take a train from Seoul to Busan. So we're still probably about like four hours out, I'd say, from hotel, maybe four and a half. I don't know. That's, I'm nervous. Okay, we got through uh, passport stuff. Now we gotta pick up uh, the suitcase, which I think that one might be mine. That one's not mine. Is it this riveting content? Oh, I was on a plane, then I wasn't on a plane. Now I'm in a country. Oh, now we need to get the luggage. Oh, and we're trying to get a hold of Tina, who is one of the LCS photographers, who is from Korea, and said that she would uh, escort us safely uh, along the way. So she hasn't responded yet. Hopefully that changes. Look for your look for your your baggage, bro. This is great content, but like we need your baggage. It's... You just fought an old woman. That's what you told me to do. You got it. What's been your favorite part of the trip so far, Broden? Uh, the airplane. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the only part of the trip we've had so far, so. Yeah, so. I don't know how to frame you, because I have to like, go all the way, I can like. Broden's yeah, super tall, everybody. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I don't know if uh, the mic will pick up whoever's behind camera, so this will be a fun test. Yay! Hey, Barry. Yeah, okay, cool. That was the longest grade of my life. <laughs> this is Tina, uh, LCS photographer extraordinaire. Uh, she's gonna guide us. Broden's about to walk into somebody. This is incredible. I wish we weren't in such a rush, but there's literally a Shake Shack at the airport here in Korea. I didn't even know it was outside the US yet. And they have a Shake Shack here. That's so sick. What if I'm like confidently taking you guys and then we're going the wrong way? Do you guys have to 
the tickets, you guys get this now. Tina Cam, I take over it. I feel like a YouTuber. Go, go. Do you ever shoot video? No, I don't know how to shoot video. It's very I can't similar. Even take photos well. How am I gonna do video? <laughs> this is why you get paid for doing this. <laughs> Uh, we have now boarded the express train to Seoul because the airport is like an hour away from Seoul. So then we're going to Seoul, but guess what? That was only where planes was happening. So we have to go to Busan, which is at the other end of the country. Uh, and so that's like three hours out. Um, so we are still about four hours out from our destination. And then Avli wants to get dinner which is presumptuous. Well, we've made it to Seoul uh, and uh, we're at Seoul Station, which is, is it in the heart of Seoul? Can I say it's in the heart of Seoul? It's not really the heart of Seoul. No, it's not the heart of Seoul. We're at Seoul Station, which is the heart of Seoul. And we are uh, getting ready to, we're actually gonna meet somebody at a McDonald's about some cheese tarts. Long time no see. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a while. Wait, we've only got three minutes to get there? We only have one minute? Travis, just trust me. The vlog's kind of boring right now, so can I ask you something to say in line? Uh, like what? Wait, we've only got three minutes to get there? We only have one minute? Was that good? Yeah, a little while. So I give Broden both expressions so he can build out his hype or not. Like, before. All of this is just fake. You know, people can't know the truth. Oh my gosh, we made it. I didn't know we'd be able to do it. And we, we have a bunch of extra time too, so it's not even that big of a deal. We're in the elevator at the hotel. We finally made it. I am so tired. Broden fell asleep on the train. I did not. That's the end of the vlog. Funny story, we are currently recording this outro uh, in like a little vending machine booth thing. There's like a roof over the top of me. Anyway, there's a spider web hanging out right in front of Broden. If he moves just two seconds, <laughs> closer, two inches, what, I don't know, centimeters, I don't know what they talk, it, there, he'll get caught by a spider web, um, and it's it's going to be really complicated for him, um, and I'm a little worried, uh, but you know what would help Broden deal with that spider web? If he went to u.gg, uh, because 
Uh, you know, sometimes you get caught in a spider web of emotions, and I don't know what's happening. Uh, you just go to the description. U.gg. Did you? Is that going through the spider? I don't understand. You, check check them out. They're in the description. They'll make sure you never lose champion select again. They're probably gonna have mixed feelings about this outro in particular. So if you just click through a lot on this one, it, it might actually help them because they're gonna be like, what what was that outro? Um, but like, uh, it's late and I'm jet lagged, and that is a pretty big spider web. Oh, Jesus.